how did we get here? Students set up an encampment in the early morning leading to one arrest, but hours later they did it again with a demonstration lasting more than three hours and police presence from five surrounding departments. WCI3's Ariana Williams has more. Students and protesters stood arm in arm near U of I's alma mater statue. It started at 5 in the morning and went on well into the evening. Students were standing in support of Palestine and calling for the university to do the same. Divestment from the genocide, divestment from the Palestinian occupation. I mean, we are so many like, diverse students here, like kids from like, all over like, the world, basically. So, I mean, it's really not a surprise. Like, this is, this is like happening in people's homes, so they're going to want to fight for it. One student was arrested after university officials told them setting up structures on campus was not allowed. So there's been one person arrested for peacefully resisting. He's currently um, being held. Got it. In a statement, the university said, quote, anyone who interferes with that removal is subject to consequences, including arrest when criminal laws are violated. Only protesters did it again around 3 p.m., this time with interlocking arms and surrounding the tent. What's happening here is a civil rights movement. It's not anti-Semitic. Jewish people are at the forefront of these protests. This is like the civil rights movement. This is like an anti-war movement of the 60s and 70s. Campus police arrived first, breaking through the crowd and removing some of the structures. <laughs> police returned with backup. Champaign, Urbana, and Muhammad Police Departments, and the Champaign County Sheriff's Office. But as law enforcement numbers grew, so did protesters. In a release, campus police called the demonstration an unlawful assembly. We are like severely dedicated individuals. We are passionate about the cause. And I mean, I've spoken to everyone here. They're not leaving. In Urbana, Ariana Williams with WCIA 3, your local news leader. And they still haven't. A group of protesters and the university did go into the union tonight to talk about negotiations. No word on what came out of that.